What's up, folks? Uh, I just put a video up online, and uh, it's about me in an astronaut suit going around a state park and everything. And I'm just going to talk about a little bit of how I did that. Uh, I use After Effects to edit it, and I gotta admit, it's pretty, pretty hard trying to film yourself with a camera and a tripod for one, which is why I bought this 6D Mark II so it automatically focuses. But it's really hard trying to film yourself with a drone. Um, luckily I have the, the Mavic Air um, Pro and that one's good. It was like a thousand dollars but it does have some automated hand features where you can fly it with your hands and then it has some automatic tracking stuff but the problem I was having is it kept losing focus on me and would just like disappear or um, I didn't want to walk around with the phone and the controller, so I would put it down somewhere and then take off. But when I did that, I had no idea when the battery level was low. So like one time, it actually picked up and turned around and started flying somewhere else. And I had to go chase it down to uh, pretty much grab it out of thin air <laughs> and get it uh, like half a, half or a quarter mile behind me. So that was not fun. And then the self-flying features, like you could put your hand in front of the drone, and then it'll it'll fly with the uh, it'll fly that way. But I forgot most of them, so I'm like sitting there trying to do all these hand motions, trying to make it work. And of course, nothing works. So pretty much next year, I don't know if I've said this yet, but next year I want to kind of road trip across the United States and take a year off of working. So the next half of this month is going to spent just working, practicing drone stuff and saving money so that when I do go out to nicer places, I could have a better grasp. Or I guess I need to buy a better drone that has an automatic um, update to return home or some other options that make it better to use. Anyway, um, if you folks have any questions about trying to fly a drone on your own and like record yourself. I'm learning as I go and you know, feel free to ask anything. Another big thing that I'm learning how to do is color grading. And it's one thing to have your DSLR, DSLR footage. And then it's another thing to have your drone footage because they look totally different even though I'm shooting them in like a standard kind of contrasty video to add uh, LUTs to it. But between the two footages, since there's different lenses and different everything, it's hard to match them up. So I'm learning how to make that better. It's probably what I'm going to do today. So anyway, thanks for watching and stay with the updates to learn how I'm figuring out everything. I'll see you in the next episode.